Hey, aviation fans, Dave here again. Um, I feel like I got to set up this next video. This is the final video from the trip back from California. And um, I feel like I got to set it up because we ended up really scrambling to get back because of the storm front that was in front of us. So we had to find a spot that we could slide through uh, this storm front. And uh, it just so happens that once we got through that front and got on the other side, we wanted to stay ahead of it as it was coming behind us. So um, we got to um, we got from Texas, North Texas to Lafayette, Louisiana. And then what's coming up is our trip from Louisiana home. One leg, uh, you know, the final leg, uh, really stretching the uh, the legs or should I say the wings of the SR-22. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the Southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, I've been remiss about putting this out because I haven't had enough material. Be most of the flight was at night, so it was a nighttime flight. <laughs> Basically out over the Gulf, we could still see the lights, of course, of land, but we were up high and we were out over the water, so there really wasn't much to see other than a couple of uh, screenshots in the cockpit that we took. Uh, so this is the final uh, trip. I'll make sure I drop this video in the, uh, in, the, in the folders I've been making for the different aspects of Quantum Fly. So if you go online, you can see these folders uh, dealing with the acquisition of the aircraft and learning of the aircraft. So I kind of broke it down into like sections. So it's easy to find. Hey, thanks everybody for subscribing and liking the channel. Don't forget if it's something that you like, if, if there's something that interests you, I do get a lot of great comments back. Don't forget to uh, punch that like button out and uh, make sure you tell the algorithm you wanna see more of this kind of content. And of course it encourages me to keep making the content because if you don't wanna watch it, why make it? Uh, I enjoy doing it so, um, you know, now that I'm flying an SR-22 instead of an SR-20, I'm not getting as much SR-20 stuff. However, one thing that I've noticed is missing from a lot of uh, the YouTube channels is operating the Garmin Perspective Plus. So I wanna try to get more in there. I've got some shots now where I'm pointing the camera at the uh, Garmin, at the actual avionics. So, you know, you can see a little more of the, uh, the, the interaction between me and the Garmin because that's really been the thing that's been hard to, to grasp is the buttonology, the flow, um, trying to get ready for my IFR check ride. And, um, you know, that's the issue. So now it's back to the books, make sure I can pass my oral. And if I can pass my oral, I mean, boy, flight director makes things so much easier, so much easier to fly this plane when you have a flight director. For those of you that have flown on steam gauges ex exclusively you don't know what i'm talking about but for those of you that have flown in uh modern day avionics screens uh glass cockpits know what i'm talking about flight director is just a godsend to the ifr pilot uh great situation situational awareness and the ability to keep the plane upright when you have nothing but reference to instruments great big 12 inch screen instead of a little tiny you know dial so, um, hey, thanks for watching. Again, please uh, get, uh, subscribe if you like the channel. I'm, we're just like within 100 uh, subscribers of uh, getting our hitting our 1,000 mark, which is a big deal. So um, if you would do that for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Enjoy the show. 
All right. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> every time we start, we get stopped by weather. And once again, weather east about 80 miles is just a total mess. So here we are at uh, Texas North Regional Airport. Uh, and um, you know, we're on the ground, we got gas. And we're gonna go back and check weather and see what see what we can do i don't know we might be stuck here we might be going north we might have to go all the way in oklahoma to get all the way to florida so might have to take the the long way anyway uh it's getting a little frustrating because <laughs> i've got a bad case of get there itis now and i don't want to have that i want to enjoy the ride back so so far it hasn't been enjoyable it's just been weather after weather and evidently god doesn't want me in florida today or this week for that matter there's lunch hobo joe's and Tennyson. what you gonna get Vern? nothing that's gonna put me in the bathroom we have a long ride tonight <laughs> you have a uh, very short list there sir yes <laughs> Pretty much anything. Oh, he's talking about the PB and J burger. Yeah. Yeah, that'll get you right into the old bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. From the cockpit. Captain Bird. Taking ass and taking names. Speeds alive, engine should turn the green. RPM. I don't know why that happened. Probably some density altitude stuff. Oh. What's up? And we are up. I forgot to turn that camera on. Did you? Yeah. And. Okay, uh, it is currently about seven minutes till eight o'clock on uh, hopefully our last leg, right, Vern? Last Captain leg. Vern? We're going shoreline, and if we don't make it, that's where we live. Yeah, now. <laughs> exactly. If we end up in Destin, you know, we end up in Destin. Yeah. But this is it. Uh, this is the marathon run of uh, the last, what? 552 miles home something like that testing the legs on this beautiful new sr22 so we're yeah. gonna go get it we gotta hug the shoreline we don't have wraps. we can't plug in the gopros for obvious reasons you can't see us now uh so they won't tape very well so this will be the last you hear from us till we get there see ya